What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satemagal, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, knowing versus living. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. In today's marketplace, in today's economy, most people are knowers only and not doers. See, there's a phrase in the Bible that says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. So what is this knowing versus living concept? You know, real success is not just knowing, but living. It's living what you know. You know, there's a lot of people out there today that walk and talk. Uh, they quote scriptures. They quote gurus. They quote Jim Rohn and Zig Ziglar and Tony Robbins, and they know that they should have a more organized week, and they know that smoking is going to give them cancer and kill them, and they know that overeating is not going to be good for them. But what's the difference between them and the successful people? The big difference is that successful people live what they know. And unsuccessful people don't live what they know. They just stay occupied with what's called mental masturbation. They study, they learn, they memorize. They watch more books, they watch more training, they attend more seminars. But the reason why it's not working for them is because they're not living it. I remember I heard a concept back in the 90s. Wow, I feel old at times whenever I say that. But it's in the 90s, I was coming out of my teenage years and hitting my early 20s. And I read a book by Stephen R. Covey called Seven Habits, and it was somewhere in his trainings and all the different seven habits where I couldn't get enough of seven habits. I loved it. But he says to know and to not do is to not know, or to learn and to not do is not to learn. So just consider in your life today, and this is like such a powerful distinction, what would happen if you began to live the things that you already know? Let's take a look at physical health. I talk with people all the time that they, they become so enamored, right? They're like, man, Satema, look at you. Like, look, like you, you're muscular and like, you, like I watch your workout videos. I'm like, well, yeah, you know, I, I like to work out. I know that working out actually gets me results. Not learning about working out, not watching uh, Muhammad Ali or Sylvester Stallone videos, but, you know, actually doing the work actually sweating, actually going through pain where lactic acid builds in your body and your lungs hurt and your muscles burn. But people already know, so I'll tell them what they already know, but you know, they just, what, what is it that they need or what is it that we need? Sometimes we just simply need the belief and the faith that if I do X, I will get Y. Right? If I actually eat good food and work out and stop stuffing my face and stop um, overloading on carbs and sugars all day and all night, I would actually lose weight. Isn't that crazy? Like What it is that we know versus what we live, and that's the big distinction. So take a look at what you know right now. You already know what you got to do. It's really simple. Right? For some people, they like, they pound alcohol. Well, how's that working for you? Some people, they pound sugar. How's that working for you? And there's this concept, moderation, all things, and it's not what you know, but it's what you live. So where are you at with your body and your physicality and your health? I already know you know what you got to do, but can you live it? Will you choose it? Will you generate a sincere enough commitment to do what's required? Take a look at spirituality, prayer, Scripture, meditation, one's beliefs, your beliefs. It's one thing to know that God exists or a Buddha or Allah or whoever. I, I worship God. I, I, I'm a follower of Christ. I'm not even going to hide behind that. I had a guy who's got a public company and I asked him to do endorse my book. And he's like, well, you know, I really I love what you have, but, you know, I'm a public company. I, well, I just can't endorse. I'm like, that's cool. Right. You do you and I'll do me. But I'm, for me, I'm never going to shy away from what I believe in, and neither should you. So take a look at your spirituality. You know, do you know about God? I mean, even the Bible says, so what? The devils believe in God too. It doesn't matter if you know about God. It doesn't matter if you know about the power of prayer. It doesn't matter if you know that you should go to church unless you're doing what? Unless you're living it. 
Like point blank. It's not what you know, but what you live. So it's Sunday today, right? And, and at the time I'm doing this, it's literally 10.55 a.m. on a Sunday. And I'm getting ready. Uh, to, I've already fed my kids. Right? We, we hung outside on the trampoline for about 30 minutes. We laid there telling stories. We cleaned the kitchen. And now what? I'm shooting a podcast with some thoughts in my mind. And in about five to ten minutes, I will be getting ready for church. Because it's not what I know, but it's what I live. Right? Let's take the next one, example relationships. Come on now. You already know you need to be more patient, but what do, what good does it do if you know you need to be more patient, but you're not patient? What good does it uh, do you to know that you ought to take your spouse out on a date, but you don't do it? Because it's not what you know, it's what you live. It's not what you preach and teach, but how you live. So where in your relationships today can you actually start living what you know? Right. And what's the one thing that you could do today that would make a difference for you? What's the one thing that would make a difference if you just begin to live it? And then we come to my favorite part, the business part. I love business. I'm, I'm learning. I'm growing. I don't know it all. But I don't have to know it all. I simply have to take action from where I'm at and just live what I know from where I'm at today which is a Sunday, right? I just live what I know. And as I live and do the things that I already know, I actually get greater clarity and perspective. Difficult to have perspective when you sit in the same place and mentally masturbate on the books that you read and the things that you study. I mean, do you want to be a walking, talking library or do you want to be an action taker that actually learns and grows by doing I know a lot of people that are just these uh, constant seminar goers, and it doesn't work. Why? Because they're not willing to do the things they said they would do. Really simple ball game, my brothers and sisters, really simple. Living not knowing is the way to results. Living not uh, only saying and quoting is the way to results. So take a look at your business, marketing, selling, teaching. Do you train? Do you practice? Do you memorize? Do you do? Do you work? I remember I used to knock doors for a living and lead sales teams all over the country. Ironically, I just had a call from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Missed call. I was there three years ago and I have people still calling me. So you could tell I had some type of impact because they still call me and say, hey, I got a question. Like, let me just refer you to the customer service. But I check this out. Like, you know, three years ago, I'm knocking in. Cedar Rapids and Des Moines and Waterloo and Davenport, all over Iowa in the summer of 2013. And reps would come out, they would study in correlation meeting, and then they would go sit at a gas station. It blew my mind because I never once would I ever stop or rest or sit on the curb. Like, there's only one thing to do out there, which was to work, to walk, knock, and talk, and sell. Walk, talk, and knock, and sell. And why these Young people or old people would come out and try to knock doors and then sit on a curb for two hours. makes no sense to me. It's kind of what you do today in your business. You know what you need to do, but you don't do it. So you make up stories to not do it. You, You avoid the required work, but why? Do you want the result or not? Did you generate a sincere enough commitment to do what's required? Remember, commitment's doing what's required. It's not learning what's required, although that's a part of it, but it's doing what's required. So living versus knowing. Doing versus just seeing. Brothers and sisters, if you'll start to live what you know, and again, you you don't need to go listen to another podcast. Just stop right now and say, hey, what's the one thing that I can do right now that I already know? I'm going to go to church today. I already know what I got to do. I got to get up, get ready for church, make sure my kids are hydrated and got a little bit of food and more food in them because I go to church for three hours. I'm going to make sure that when I get to church, I already know what I got to do and I got to live it. I got to be present. I'll take some notes. I'm going to pray and ask God to help me, guide me, give me the peace and space that I need to reset for this week. I'm going to live what I know. I'm going to live what I know. Will you live what you know? Will you live the things that you know with your wife, your husband, your kids, with your employees, your business, your team, with your fitness and nutrition, with your God? Will you live what you know? Just one thing because it will make the biggest difference in your life today. This is your boy, Satema Ali, reminding you, if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit 
with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, promise, signs, and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. Live what you know. Live what you know. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.